Well, it was 15 years ago this past spring, but many remember the Columbine High School massacre like it just happened. Two seniors murdered 12 students and a teacher at the Colorado High School. It was a terrible tragedy, but there was some good to come out of it. Rachel's Challenge is a new national outreach program that works to prevent violence and inspire kindness and compassion. It was inspired by the life and writings of Rachel Scott. She was the first victim of the Columbine massacre. WSBT's Kristen Bean is live this morning. Kristen, the program is locally here this week. Yeah, that's right, and it's thanks to two Tippecanoe Valley High School students who felt that it was important to bring this program to their school district to help healing after the deaths of several students, parents, and faculty members. To say they're excited might be an understatement. Oh, my Lanta. I am ecstatic. <laughs> I am overwhelmed. I don't even think I have enough practices. We first introduced you to Deontay Smith and Michael Thacker in March as they were raising money. We did it. We got it. Uh, the community really responded well. The students needed to raise thousands of dollars to bring Rachel's challenge to their school district. The challenge is based on the writings and life of 17-year-old Rachel Scott, the first student killed in the Columbine massacre. Rachel's challenge is a series of programs that help students and adults combat bullying prevent suicide and create a culture of compassion. We figured that by bringing this event, we would help, you know, change views of people and uh, also better help our community. That was important to the teens because their friend and classmate, 16-year-old Cody Floyd, died last May. He's always going to be there for me in my heart, you know, uh, hopefully he's looking down on me, hopefully he's smiling. Floyd was one of several students, parents, and faculty members that passed away recently. We still walk with those scars from those deaths. The hope is Rachel's challenge can help this community start to heal. When I leave, I am so hopeful that they'll continue the culture of kindness and compassion. That's our two biggest things because we do not shun the darkness. We just shine light on what's positive. And that's exactly what these teens hope takes place here in the years to come. The teens raised $11,000. Rachel's challenge is presented to the elementary, middle, and high schools. That's happened this week. Uh, then they, do, they also do a special training for select students at the high school. And tonight, you're invited to a special community presentation. Everyone is welcome. It takes place at 7 p.m. In the control room, I'm Kristen Bean, WSBT Channel 22 News.